All right, in this video, we're going to uh, create our component here that pulls these uh, pictures, the dates, and the scores from NFL games um, so far this season. Now, in my previous tutorial, let me go ahead and talk, let me kind of recap on something, and this is going to lead me to talk about something else uh, for future tutorials. I've been introduced, um, I mentioned this guy in the last video, David Panchera. He uh, has introduced me to this uh, document object model using JavaScript. It makes parsing HTML source code much better, much more streamlined. It can be done faster using JavaScriptlets and Tasker. However, since I've already done this video using the regex and uh, you know creating variables and arrays and all that stuff based on my last tutorial I just uploaded a week ago, um, we're still going to stick with this because... This right here is st was still a, a great perk to have when you want to send a whole bunch of variables over to KLWP that are similar. For example, I covered this in the last tutorial, but I, I do want to recap on it because it's going to help us create this component with these pictures and these scores in it. This is the variable that I'm sending over to KLWP that I discussed in the previous tutorial where what we're sending over to custom, its variable name is going to be pick one, pick two, pick three, pick four, etc. because we have this uh, send intent inside of a loop that I discussed in the last tutorial. And what it's going to send over is the URL, which we also got in the last tutorial. But the same thing is going to happen for, let me go ahead and show you all these again, just real quick, real quick recapping. This is going to be uh, score one, score two, score three, all inside of that loop. So we're sending that variable over to KOWP. And then we're sending over uh, date one, date two, date three, date four from the um, this piece here. And I have season or week one from this season showing up up here. So remember, pick one, pick two, pick three, etc. And then we have date one, date two, date three. And then we also have score one, score two, score three. All those things are getting used inside of this component that I've created in KOWP. So just going back to the component, we, you know, arrange this however you want. Um, we got some uh, stack groups, horizontally centered uh, and vertically centered inside of here. But let's, let me go ahead and jump to Carolina uh, Panthers and the Broncos. So that's going to be inside of games one through four. That's going to be this uh, horizontally centered stack group that I have here. I'm going to go to game one. And then notice I got stack groups inside of stack groups inside of stack groups. It's just keep things, uh, to keep them organized. So let me go to this date right here, Thursday, September the 8th. What I have showing here is... I'm getting two parts, and I discussed this in the last video because since this array we created in Tasker already had commas in it to begin with, um, date one and date two is going to give the date one that I'm sending over in that loop from the send intent, that's going to be date one. That's the Thursday. Then I have a comma, which is that comma, and date two is going to be the second piece in that array, so to speak. Remember, Tasker does indexing starting with one, so be careful with that. But date one, date two is going to give me Thursday. I got my comma right there. And then September the 8th is the date two. And that's what's getting over, sent over from Tasker to KOWP. Well, to get the next one that we see here, this would be date three, date four, date five, date six, date seven, date eight. And that would lead to 32 different pieces to date, for date, inside of um, this thing right here uh, to get all these dates for this particular week because this week had 16 games so I'd have 32 pieces there same thing for the images if I come back to uh, team one which I'm inside of the Panthers let me zoom in on that so now the image this is the URL so I'm going in there and putting this code uh, tasker pick one and then notice remember how I said pick one pick two pick three so if I come back to team two which is going to be the Broncos if I go to its image it's going to be pick two. But remember, back in Tasker, all we had to do was do that send intent and put it inside of a loop. So it's sending over pick one, pick two, pick three, pick four, uh, pick five, pick six, pick seven, pick eight, all the way up to how many ever pieces or how many ever games we have. And I'm going to show you how to get that to dynamically change as well um, in this tutorial because we don't always have 16 games in a week. And then the scores, if I just come back here, I'll go, well, heck, heck, let me stay right here. I'm inside a team two, which is the Broncos. I'm going to go to its score, which is saying 21. Notice all this stuff is matching here, by the way. All of this here is getting pulled and showing up right there. Well, this is going to be score two because 
This would be score one based on how I did it in Tasker. This would be score two. And again, it's getting sent over from Tasker um, inside of that loop, that send intents that we have inside of the loop. Now, a couple other things to mention here. Um, you know, create these. You can do stack groups or however you want to do it. You don't have to create it exactly like this. But nonetheless, let me go back into Tasker now and let me talk about something else as well. All right, so week add, week subtract. We need these two, and I didn't talk about these tasks in the last tutorial because I'm going to talk about them now. But if I go over to VARs, notice percent week is a global variable in Tasker since I have a capital letter and it's set to one right now. Well, what we can do here is we can do week add, and I can just do a little um, if percent week is less than 17. Um, we want to add one to it, otherwise we want to subtract to it. And basically, what is this doing here? There's 17 weeks in this season. So notice we have 17 weeks in the season. And whenever we add, it's going to add one to it, variable add. So as long as that week is less than 17, it's going to add one to it. And then whenever it gets to uh, 17, when it checks this little task again, when percent week, if it's not less than 17, for example, if it's equal to 17, it's going to set percent week back to one. So basically, this is what's going to allow us to cycle through these weeks all the way up to 17. And then when we get to 17, we're going to come back to one. And then we want to send that over to KLWP for whatever week it is. And then we want to perform this task that we created in the last tutorial, this NFL.com. Because what NFL.com also had inside of here, which I did mention, is I wanted to send over a variable to KLWP basically saying how many games we have. How many games we have. Let me slide this stuff out of the way real quick. Well, how many games we have is going to be the number of pictures we have. For example, here there were 16 games and we have 32 pictures. So if I can take the number of elements in my pick array, which is pick uh, with the parentheses and pound or the dollar symbol, that's not dollar symbol, but the number symbol, that's going to give me 32 divided by 2. That's variable set. I'm doing math. I'm taking the number of pictures or the number of elements we had in that pick array and we're dividing it by two. That's going to give me the number of games we have that week. And then I'm sending that over to KLWP. All right. Let me go back to variable subtract. What variable subtract is going to do, as long as percent week is bigger than one, sorry about this, if percent or percent week is bigger than one, we want to subtract one from the week. Otherwise, if it's not greater than one, we want to set it back to 17. This is going to allow us to go backwards in our weeks and then go right back to 17 when uh, we want to go backwards from one. There is no week zero. We're not talking about preseason, so it's going to knock us back to 17. That's what this task is going to do here. And then we have it sending that variable over to KOWP, and then we have it performing the task NFL.com. Because technically what we're doing, you know, this task is not getting triggered directly in KOWP. These two tasks are getting triggered directly in KOWP. And then these two tasks here, whether it be week add or week subtract, are going to perform are going to perform the task NFL.com. So it's like I have these tasks performing that task right there. I hope that makes sense. Let me go back to the home screen. Where do I have this stuff happening at? I have this piece up here that I haven't talked about, but I'm going to right now. So if I go into my component, go to stuff, um, I'm gonna go to weeks. So I'm up here. And let me go ahead and talk about this text that I have. Week one and then 16 games. So these are, these are picking up on the variables that I'm sending over from um, Tasker. So I have, I've sent over a variable called week. That's sending over that percent capital W uh, week, percent week. And then GV num, that's games. What is GV num? Well, that's a global variable that I have set in KOWP just to get that information, which is nothing but this right here. Globals. GV num is just broadcast tasker game. And again, let me, I didn't show you exactly how I had those typed in, but I will now. Uh, let me go to NFL.com. Let me come down here. I think I did show this to you last week. But nonetheless, configuration, uh, percent games, that's going to be the number of games. 
whether it be six or 16 games, 14, six, 17 games, whatever, and it, the custom variable name is percent game, which is exactly what I have right here. So in this case, it's picking up 16 because there's 16 games in week one. Then the other piece as well, if I go back into Tasker, let me back out to week, week add or week subtract. Notice I'm sending that variable over to KOWP and its name is week, which I showed you um, in the text piece of KOWP and it's sending over percent week. And percent week is going to be anything between 1 and 17 inclusive. How do we trigger these tasks? That's going to be the last part to here. If I go back to my component and I go look at these buttons, these font icons that I have right here and right here, NFL.com, scoreboard stuff, weeks, and then let's look at this font icon right here. I just you can pick whatever you want, and you know design it however you'd like. I'm gonna go to touch, and I have launch shortcut. This is where I want to subtract week. That's that task that we created in Tasker. Uh, I call it subtract week or week subtract whatever it was. If I go to task shortcut, scroll down here. Well, you have to actually select this yourself, but shortcut. And then I'm going to go to week subtract. So that's going to trigger this task, which in turn is going to perform this task um, once it's done doing all this stuff. And notice we're sending that variable over to KOWP. So that's week subtract. Week add is going to be very similar, except I use the other task, week add, to perform it on that button right there. And once you do all of this, again, can I? Um, I did get a question. You know, can I share this on the KOWP toots? Uh, I can. The thing is, it's not going to be very helpful unless you create your task and task are exactly like I did. If you name your variables different, this stuff is not going to get picked up. So you're going to have to name them pick one, pick two, pick three like I did. You're going to have to name them score one and all that stuff. And basically, the tasks that I have over here in Tasker, the only way this is going to work for you is you're going to have to create these the exact same way that I did. And you're still going to have to go back and probably do some selecting to get it to actually register, I'm assuming, um, especially for these here, to get these buttons to work on our uh, the week add, week subtract. But yeah, once you get all that set up, you know, Week two, give it a second to re-pull the data. You saw the images and the scores change. And just showing you here, um, we should be getting, once week two loads up there, we should be seeing, yeah, Jets and the Bills, 3731, is pulling all of this information. And again, uh, hopefully sometime, it's probably going to be in the distant future with the JavaScript and the DOM, D-O-M, document, object model. I have a lot to learn there, but I think that's really going to make our HTML source code parsing much more streamlined and we can uh, actually send variables over a lot faster using just JavaScript as well. But that's not for right now. Um, I'm sure this is overwhelming enough. But uh, yeah, there you have it. That's an NFL.com full scoreboard uh, dynamic. You can change it based on weeks. And that is it for this video. I hope it helped.